A million miles, something every diesel truck owner dreams of one day. But just how do you get a million miles without breaking down? Well, that's what I show you how to do in this video, showing you guys what maintenance items you must do to get your diesel truck to last one million miles. I'm not only gonna be telling you guys what to do, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do it. And then at the end of this video, I'm gonna be telling you guys the best two modifications you can do to your truck to get it to last a million miles. Stay tuned. Behind me are the most important maintenance items to get your truck to last one million miles. There is five total that I'm gonna be changing that are the most important. Now there's a bunch more maintenance items, but there's five today that I'm gonna be showing you guys that you need to change in order to get your truck to last a million miles. And we're gonna start out with the oil and oil filter. Tranny fluid is right here, oil's up there. So we need to get up there, do the oil, 16 millimeter for the oil. Ooh. Holy shit. Never know when you're gonna shoot it right. Holy fuck. We're gonna start working on the oil filter now. Here we go. Ah, uh, shit, there she blows. Go oil filter drain. I'll let that drain for a sec. Shit, it's like rain. Goddamn. Shit. All right. And do not want to cross thread this, guys. Extended Life S STP. We're gonna go ahead and unbox it here for you guys. Try it off. I mean, it just looks like the same oil filter that came off, but I need to go fill it up now. And uh, once I fill it up, I'll come back down and I'll put it in here for you, in there for you guys. All right, got it filled up. Make sure that O-ring gets lubed. Time to go back in. It's pretty tight on there. Now I need to fill it back up. I'm gonna go ahead and just stick it down in there. Fill her up. All right, fire it up, let it get in, let it run around in there. See how we're sitting. All right, I'm gonna give it about five more minutes, let it run through the system real quick. I do change the oil every three to 5,000 miles, as well as my oil filter. I like to stay on top of that. That was the oil change. I wanna make sure everything's okay now. See if we need to add or subtract some. Put about 12 quarts in. I'm gonna might add another quart here after I see how low or high it is. Now onto the fuel filters. I wanna change the fuel filters next. This is the diesel fuel filter here. We've got, so this one actually replaces the top and the bottom fuel filter. It's an all-in-one kind of kit. We're gonna be replacing both in this video just because I wanna show you guys something. The fuel filter is actually in desperate need of a change and you can see why, hold on a second. That is our fuel filter. All right guys, I'm gonna turn the key off and turn it back on again. So it's off right now. I'm gonna show you guys what happens to the fuel filter. It balloons out a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's in desperate need of a change, long story short. <laughs> this is the top one, and then we've also got the bottom one down here. So I'm gonna leave the bottom one there, I don't wanna get it dirty. Showing you guys how to do both here. So I'm gonna put the top one on, show you guys how to do that. All right, it is actually very easy on how to do the top one. You just unplug it and plug it on in. Okay, and these basically just plug out of there, I believe. Okay, one, and two. We can actually unscrew it here, pull it out. Super easy, don't wanna get fuel everywhere, but then we just slide it right back in. Just sits in there nice and snug. I'm gonna fire it up, see what happens. All right, I think we're good. Okay guys, now there is an underside fuel filter by the transfer case that we need to get to, and that is what this is guy this guy is for, this little housing here. So we're gonna put that in there down at the bottom. I'll show you guys how to do it. And this is gonna be our next fuel filter. So what he says to do, pliers here. Start draining it. All right. The difference is crazy. This is the old one, this is the new one clips in there like that. There's this O-ring right here, guys, that you gotta get off. Okay, push it up on in there. And, and just hand tighten it. It should be. All right, we're gonna fire it up here. A little slow.
The fuel filters, I like to change every three oil changes. So it's gonna be every 15,000 miles, you wanna change those. Six, seven power strokes and many newer diesels that have the CP4 pumps in them, they are going to go bad. And the more you maintain these CP4 pumps, the longer they're gonna last. So the fuel systems are these on these are one of the most important to maintain, keep fresh. So that's why I like to change my fuel filters every 15,000 miles. Transmission time, this is gonna be the hell, hell. Up under the hood here, we are headed to the transmission. Wow. It looks like it's been changed before. It's not too brown. Transmission filter here. I'm gonna unbox it for you guys. Let's uh, put this thing in. All right, we're gonna put it in there now. Punch this right in there like that. On the transmission fluid, I like to change that every 60 to 90,000 miles. It's not 100% necessary, but it's something to do to keep your transmission fresh and everything running super good. It's all buttoned up under there. Everything's good to go. Valvoline full synthetic. It's a Mercon LV. Don't want to put anything other than that in there. All right, gang, we're about to take the old 6.7 on a drive here. We got all the fluids changed. We got the ATF changed, transmission filter changed. We got the oil changed, oil filter, and fuel filters changed, so. Everything fires up good, that's for sure. See how it shifts. Two, three, four. Wow, oh my God. It's like butter, boys. It's five. Not bad, not bad. Not bad at all. All the way to six right there shifted good let you guys in on the best two modifications to do to your truck to get it to last a million miles stay tuned a million miles which two mods should you do to your truck to get it to last that long i'm going to break it down for you right now the first one and i think the one that is the most important is a cp4 to dcr conversion pump the cp4s are the most common problems on these six seven power strokes and all the newer power strokes in general and also all the diesel trucks that have a cp4 pump they're the most common problems on these trucks if not not well maintained, not well lubricated, they will go out at 200,000 miles. If you don't have the money to do a DCR conversion because it's about two grand, then you can absolutely do some well maintenance stuff on it. I actually use this uh, BG products. It's in my truck right now. I use it every single tank. So that helps my CP4 last a lot longer than it's intended to. Probably one of the best modifications that I would do to your truck to get it to last a million miles is a DCR conversion kit. The next one and a pretty controversial one is a DPF and EGR weight reduction, I guess you could say. The EGR and the DPF are known to go out at about 200,000 miles. How you know it's starting to go out is it's full all the time, one, and two, it, li it likes to go into an active region a lot more instead of a passive region. Both of them are two, they're two different things. An active region is when it's actively burning off the soot in the actual DPF. And a passive region is when you drive so long that the exhaust gets so hot and it burns off the soot itself. You don't actually have to go into an active region and burn off the soot. Enough active regions will put this thing out of commission and I give it about 200,000 miles before you have to get a completely either a completely new DPF or a new DPF filter clean, which is kind of a pain in the butt. Can last quite a long time with the DPF and the EGR on it, but not a million miles. So that would be the reason I would do it. Now, the best thing to ever get it to last a million miles is not to do any of that, but to do your regular maintenance. As long as you maintain your truck, you're going to get it to last a million miles. If you guys want to pick up any of my merchandise, it'll be linked down in the description down below. That being said, thank you guys for watching. Peace out.